The Grand Strand drivers may soon have to pay more for violations at the Myrtle Beach Airport. That's right. Our Julie Richardson joins us at the alert desk, breaking down how high those fines could reach and why some local lawmakers say they are necessary. Julia. Well, Rachel Eric, a spokesperson for the Myrtle Beach Airport, says staff see dozens of people illegally parked on the curb in front of the airport. Now they want a fine increase for those who do, and some even want it to be up to $100. If I find out I'm going to get hit with a $100 fine, guess what? I'm probably not going to park there. Among those in favor of the fine increase is Horry County Council's Michael Mascarelli, who says stricter punishments will prevent repeat offenses in front of the airport. If you're going to put a fine in place, you make it such that you get people's attention. The county's Department of Airports says those parked at the front curb along the commercial lane or within the transportation loop, create a hazard to the general public and take valuable time and effort away from law enforcement patrolling the airport. While some tourists agree with both of those points, they claim fines up to 100 bucks are just a little excessive for their tastes. I'd rather have a smaller increase and then see if that works, and then if that doesn't work, you know, it would be smarter than to increase it. Some, like Eric Gustafson, also fear the fines won't curb bad driving behavior for those who don't frequent the airport. A lot of people would probably just, you know, be oblivious to it, unless you're a taxi cab driver and you hear every day. Taxi drivers I spoke with declined to go on camera, but they told me they do see dozens of people parked on the curb every day. And even though it's not certain that the fine will be as high as $100, some council members are still pushing for it. My thought was make sure that we do a public announcement that make everybody aware that there is going to be a $100 fine if you do this again. And if you so choose to ignore it, then pay the fine. I'm told the proposed fine increase will be on council's agenda this coming Tuesday. And if that is passed, it will go into effect on January 1st of 2024. At the Alert Desk, Julia Richardson, WMBF News.